Last time we met Eva, the African gray parrot, and Eaglet, a baby Lego eagle. Eva had us build Driver Base 1 and had us upgrade it to become a chariot for Eaglet. This time we're going to learn more about programming a robot to turn. Eaglet would like his chariot robot to give him a ride to his house. Eva decides she'll have the robot follow the road and stop in front of the house. Let's take a look where Eaglet is and where his house is so we can figure out how to program the chariot robot. Eaglet will start from the beginning of the street that leads to his house. He needs to end in front of the house. It looks like Chariot will need to make two careful turns to take Eaglet to his house. Let's talk about how the move block works. A robot has two wheels, each driven by a motor. Instead of two more wheels like a car, it has a roller ball in the back. When we use a block that tells the robot to move straight, we're telling the robot to have its motors turn at the same speed so both wheels push the robot forward. When we change the block from straight zero to right 100, we're causing the motor on the left to move the robot forward and the motor on the right to move backward. That causes it to rotate to the right, which we refer to as turning in place. If we change the right turn to 50, both wheels drive the motor forward, but the left motor turns twice as fast as the right motor, so the robot moves forward while it turns right. Right 30 does the same thing, except the speeds of the motors are not quite as different, so the right turn is more gradual. What about left turns? They work pretty much the same way, except we drag the pointer left and we see left, a minus sign, and a number filled in for us. For instance, left minus 100 means turn in place to the left. Let's take some measurements in inches so we know how far Chariot needs to go to get to Eaglet's house. First, Chariot needs to go 4 inches. Then it needs to turn right. And then it needs to go 23 inches then a left turn, then it looks like five more inches should do it. Now let's create a program for Chariot starting with the program from last time. Let's change its name to Driving Eagle at Home. The first step needs to be straight for four inches, so let's change the distance in the block to four inches. Now let's change the left turn to right 100 so it will turn sharply to the right. 30 centimeters seems too much, so let's reduce the number of the centimeters to 10. Next chariot needs to go straight for 23 inches, so let's add another move straight and set it to 23 inches. Now we need a left turn, so we add a block and change it to left minus 100 and leave it at 10 centimeters. The final run needs to be 5 inches, so we add another move straight block and set it to 5 inches. Maybe we're ready to test the new program, so let's download it to slot number 1 on the robot. Let's see if the program works. Hmm, didn't end up right in front of Eagle's house. Let's watch it again. It turned a little too much each time. Let's change the number of centimeters from 10 to 9 for each of the turns. Now let's download the adjusted program. Yes, the turns look pretty good, but it looks like they each start a little early. Let's figure out why the turns are happening early. If we move Chariot forward 4 inches, it looks pretty good. Let's rotate it by hand instead of having the program do so, so we can watch what happens. It's pointing in the right direction, but it's not in the middle of the road. It looks like we need to move it 6.5 inches instead of 4. Based on what we've learned, let's change the 4 inches in the first move straight block to 6.5. 
So for similar reasons, let's change the 23 inches for the second move straight to 23 and a half inches. Let's try it again. Eaglet approves. The things we learned this time will help you program a robot to navigate on the first LEGO League Challenge competition field. Even though Eaglet is happy to be home, she asked Eva if she can arrange for the two of them to go on an adventure together. That will be our challenge next time, while we learn how to control the robot's turns using the gyro sensor. In the meantime, try programming your own robot to make a combination of turns and running straight.